that night we had um, everything sort of sorted out till about two o'clock and then two o'clock is when everything sort of started in the afternoon the column started rising and um, and uh, yeah we'd done all the township protection stuff we put all the greater lines in we did all the mulching um, it was all in place, the Township Protection itself, all in place about three weeks before the fire even got here because we had the six lightning strikes. Then we knew the fire would get here eventually, just how long we didn't know. It took from the 21st of November to the 30th of December for it to get here and um, it got here in a big way. All the stuff we did with the Township Protection Plan uh, worked. We saved the primary school, the Telstra Tower, the NBN Tower, the list goes on and without that, um, yeah, it would have been a lot worse. So we didn't have to go and put out fires where we've done the township protection plan. So it was really good, it worked well. Yeah, we were cut off for two days um, with no power, water. We ran out of town water. So there was nothing to the point where we just had a couple of uh, pellet loads of drinking water in the fire station, which we were sharing in town and everything like that. So um, yeah, no water, no power, all the elderly sitting in the uh, rec reserve for two days with with nothing and the community all banded together and cooked food and made everyone you know, feel happy and tourism wise we had a, the canoe races on the weekend um, my accommodation was full I was happy uh, <laughs> finally getting some tourism back but hopefully we get the caves up and running and um, yeah we we're lucky to save this place the major infrastructure that we had here was saved purely because we could you know, do what we did and then get out before the fire hits. Yeah, all those reports you hear, Buchan's gone. No, it's, it's uh, looking better than this time last year. Uh, I mean, the paddocks are green. Yes, there's no fences. <laughs> the trees are, you know, black, um, but everything's recovering. So like the cave reserve itself is beautiful and green. I lost all my um, paddocks and everything right up to my accommodations doorstep on every cabin. But uh, now the paddocks are all green, iridescent green. You wouldn't even know there was a fire here looking at it.